Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Autumn and today I am going to be doing an afternoon writing vlog. This is totally spur of the moment, totally impromptu, was not expecting to do, but I am so excited to be here, so excited to be sitting down and enjoying an afternoon writing because this was not how I was expecting to spend my afternoon. My university has canceled classes for the rest of the week. I was spending the day trying to catch up on schoolwork because I have been working because classes are delayed for a week. I said to hell with all that good stuff. I am going to do a little a bit of writing. So that's what I am going to be doing for today. For those of you who are new, if you don't know what I've been working on for these last couple of months, I am working on a new project. It's a thriller. It is called Project Getaway. It's an isolation trope. These two women are trapped up in this mountain lodge and weird things start happening. Think of the Shining, No Exit by Taylor Adams, and The Writing Retreat. Kind of that vibe of a story. Today, what I want to work on is I have a couple of books here and you're also sitting on some books. And if you can hear a clacking sound in the background, that's my washer. We haven't been able to wash clothes, but now we are, so we're washing clothes. The plan for today is to kind of get resubmerged into the story. It's been a couple of weeks since I have opened the documents. I've been looking into everything with Project Getaway. I haven't done a whole lot of plotting with this story for a few reasons. Really, I didn't want to spend a lot of time plotting out this story. I am typically a fantasy writer. I usually spend months and months and months and months plotting out a story before I dive into it. With this being a thriller and my first time going into a thriller, I didn't want to lose that excitement and that spark of starting a new story and of starting a new story in a different genre. So I wrote down those key bullet points, the beginning and the ending, and then I just kind of dove into the story just to see what would happen. I have reached a point in this story where I want to have a little bit more structure and I want to make sure I hit the correct beats or to hit the correct um, kind of twists and turns in this story. So when I go back later on and I edit this first draft, I don't have quite as much work to do. So that is going to be the plan for this afternoon. It's about four o'clock now. I will have about an hour and a half to do all of this, but in my hands here, I have Save the Cat Writes a Novel and Story Genius. These are two writing craft books, but the two books that you are currently sitting on are two published books. I've read these two books and I want to go through them and look and see when certain beats happened and when certain reveals happened in those stories. I want to look at how these authors structured their stories and then where they hit the beats of their stories. These two books that you're currently sitting on are both dual POV and I've never attempted to write dual POV. I've attempted multi POV but that we never really went forward with that. This is really going to be the first time that I have hardcore taken the time to write a dual POV story. So I want to make sure I'm revealing enough of the characters and the plot. It's rolling and it's a little more consistent and it just makes sense. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time working on all of that. Just kind of going back through the story to get a little refreshed with it. I think I'm about eight or 9,000 words into this manuscript. Like I said, I don't really have it to plot it out, but I'm going to do a little bit more plotting today. And I don't have a plan for how long I want this first draft to be. I mean, it's a thriller, so it definitely doesn't need to be 300,000 words or anything ridiculous. So I guess you could technically say I'm trying to aim for this first draft to be a little shorter. I can obviously expand on it as I need to be. I might use this first draft as more of a zero draft. I might just say this is what I want to happen in this scene and here's the outcomes of this scene and then move forward. I feel like this first draft is going to be a little messy with this thriller, but I'm not too worried about it. Mainly because there's just, I am writing this story while there's a lot of other things going on in my life. So I want this to be something that I look forward to whenever I get to writing it. And so far, every single time I've sat down to write this story, it has just been the best thing. I have just truly been excited to dive in and to work on this story. I did just make an iced coffee. I had originally made this iced coffee for spending the afternoon working on writing research papers, but now I am going to use this iced coffee to fuel my creative mind and I am very excited about it.
When I first outlined this story, if we can call it an outline, it was just a few bullet points before I got myself going. So one thing I'm extremely grateful for with doing that was writing down my ideas. I wrote down, I think, four to six beats that I originally had when I had this idea. While I consider myself a plotter, but I also like to pants a little bit, especially with first drafts, one thing that I think was really essential for me when I was originally outlining this story, but again, like I said, I didn't really outline this story. I had a few bullet points and then I just dove into the story. What I'm getting at is these bullet points are pretty significant turning points in the story, you're crooked. I have been going through Save the Cat and I am incredibly grateful. So in chapter eight, Dude with a Problem, we get a really solid breakdown of Misery by Stephen King. I am very appreciative to have that psychological thriller broken down because with me also writing a psychological thriller, I want to make sure I'm hitting these beats properly. Getting to see a psychological thriller broken down like that was really helpful. With those few bullet points that I had for myself, I spent some time fleshing them out. I have my draft one document, but then I also have a Google document called Project Getaway Info Dump. And in this document, not this, in this document, I have everything listed for this story. I have gone back to those original points that I jotted down, wrote them out. I wouldn't say full scenes, but a couple of paragraphs explaining that plot twist, who's involved in that plot twist, and why it matters in the story. I have the ending of this story. I already know what I want it to be. That was one of the first things that I knew, which is pretty wild because I'm not typically somebody who has an ending formed. That's usually the part where I struggle at aside from act two. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to connect those plot points, what those plot points looked like in order to get to the ending. This is a pretty intricate story. I feel like I'm always the type of person because I'm the type of reader where I like a little bit of depth to my characters, to my story, and I really like to get to the root problem. I have been working on that as well as my two main characters, the two with the were alternating POVs between the two of them. I wanted to work through their arcs a little bit more. Now that I am six chapters in, I wanted to really kind of solidify who they are as people. I am still just more of laying out the scene, laying out the story, and who our characters are, kind of what the problem is, and the issues our two main characters have. I think this is all right. I'm gonna work for about 30 more minutes to see what else I can come up with, give you guys another update. It's been a little more than an hour that I've been spending working on this. I haven't even cracked open Story Genius yet. I've read it a few times, but I haven't cracked it open for this. Good news, I made pretty good progress today with my spur of the moment writing session. What I did, and I'll be totally honest, I don't really have a plan with this story. I'm just kind of doing things. I will probably say some things in my vlogs when I'm writing and then just kind of backtracking and re redoing things and that is kind of what happened today. I wanted to write and make more progress in the story like chapter wise, you know, sitting down and actually drafting the story and I didn't really do that. I spent a lot of today trying to work through the beats of the story and to work on my two main characters with their character arcs. I also was not planning on doing this. It just sort of happened. I originally said in my last update, probably 
three minutes ago that I was treating this first draft more of like a draft zero with getting all of these ideas out. And honestly, I still think it's going to act as a draft zero, but what I'm doing, and I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, I made an entirely new Google document and I put everything with the beat sheet in that document. I'll put on the screen what it looked like before I started putting certain things in the beat sheet. Honestly, I'm really glad that I did this because I needed the visual. Since I didn't spend a whole lot of time plotting out the story originally, I think I'm plotting it out as I'm writing it and we'll just see how chaotic that is and how this process goes. Since this is, again, the first time I'm writing a story that is not fantasy, I'm really trying to not spend a whole lot of time up front outlining the story. I'm just trying to get to the meat and potatoes of the story. I guess that's my point. We're just kind of winging it here. I have been working on is really going through the Save the Cat Writes a Novel and I wrote down all of Act 1 broken down, all of Act 2 broken down, and all of Act 3 broken down. And what I'm going to do is I'm not necessarily going to rewrite anything. I am just going to kind of work on this outline, this beat sheet alongside writing this first draft. My whole point of this is so I kind of have an outline when I go back and I'm working on editing this first draft. Who knows how this is going to work. This is just completely winged. Never tried this before and we'll just have to see what happens. I think in one of my clips I also was able to get me looking through another book that is going to be not necessarily a comp title but I'm definitely going to be pulling a little inspiration from this story as in how the author did the dual POV. I feel pretty good about this writing session even though I didn't do a whole lot of drafting. I think what I needed to do is what I did and get all of those plot points out because that was really just stuck on my mind and I was really scared that if I didn't write down those plot points and take the time to give my characters the proper arcs that they needed to get to the ending that I have, I was scared I was going to forget those ideas and what all I've been aiming towards. So hopefully in my next writing session I can focus working through the story and drafting a little bit more, but we'll see what happens. I do want to take a little bit more time working through the outline that I kind of created today. So that is going to be it for today's very short impromptu afternoon writing vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how your writing is going. Let me know how your reading is going. If you enjoyed this vlog, if you want to see more like, them, maybe a little bit more structured in the future. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. My name is Autumn and I will see you in the next one. Bye.